What's up guys? Welcome back to Healthy Recipe. We're going to be making a completely vegan mashed potato recipe today. I've actually tried this recipe for myself uh, just to make sure it worked with just two potatoes and it came out absolutely delicious. I was so impressed. It has no oil, no fat. Uh, it's perfect if you are no oil uh, pl plant-based vegan. It's going to be absolutely delicious. So let's get right to work. The first thing uh, I'm using six cloves of fresh garlic and I'm just going to push them through a garlic press to mash them. I got here four pounds of rusted potatoes peeled. I'm going to cut them in quarters before I boil them. I'm using Himalayan salt, nutritional yeast. If you guys uh, can't find nutritional yeast, I'll put the link below for our Amazon affiliate store and you guys can order it through there we get a little percentage of everything you guys buy through the store i think it's like three percent so it helps out the channel uh fresh uh cracked peppercorns and that's really all the ingredients i got four pounds of potatoes and we're gonna just cut them and start boiling them all right so i'm gonna just cut these potatoes um i'm gonna do them in half that way they cook faster some of them i'll probably do in quarters like this one's a little bit bigger And we're just gonna boil them. The garlic, I'm just gonna push it through this little garlic press here. So, that way it'll disperse better in the mash. And this is six cloves of fresh peeled garlic. We didn't grow garlic in the garden this year, but this winter we're gonna start growing our own garlic so we don't have to use store-bought anymore either. Both garlics and onions. All right, so the potatoes are cooking. They're gonna take about 20 to 25 minutes to be soft enough to mash. Um, at that point, I'll take them out, strain them, and add the rest of the ingredients when we come back. Alright, so here we have the four pounds of potatoes that have been boiled. They're soft now and ready to be mashed. So basically, I'm going to mash them down a bit. And then we're going to add our salt, garlic, and nutritional yeast. Alright, so as you guys can see, the potatoes are pretty much mashed pretty well. I'm gonna add just about, a, maybe a tablespoon or so of the potato water in, just to give them a little bit more moisture. To get them to the consistency that I want. And you can kinda eyeball it. You know, add more as you think you need. Now I'm gonna go ahead and throw in the garlic. about a teaspoon or half a teaspoon, eh, three quarters of a teaspoon of salt. And I'll taste it again just to make sure it's got enough. Go in with our pepper, freshly ground peppercorns. And we had about four pounds of potatoes. Uh, it was 12 potatoes, so I add about one tablespoon of nutritional yeast per two potatoes. So uh, personally, for my taste, I'm gonna add about six. This is gonna give a nice color and that nice umami flavor that you will get from butter. You can also add a little bit of vegan mayonnaise into this if you wanted to make it more creamy and give it a little bit more flavor if you're okay with adding a little bit of fat to it. Right now I'm trying not to eat any fat. 
So I kind of wanted this recipe like this. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and give it a little taste just to see where we're at as far as the salt and the yeast. See if I gotta add anything. Need a little bit more salt. Beautiful flavor, but it just needs a little bit more salt and I'm gonna add a little bit more water to make it a little creamier. So total is about one teaspoon of salt for the four pounds of, of potatoes. Looks beautiful, really garlicky, absolutely delicious. So I'm gonna add a little more water now, just to make it a little bit smoother. And you guys can make it, you know, how you like your mash. Everybody likes them a little different. I like mine a little bit um, thicker, not so runny. And you gotta do this by hand because if you do it with a blender or a food processor, you're gonna end up getting a potato milkshake. This is a lot better because it'll have nice texture. You can see there, it's nice and smooth. This is how I like my mashed potatoes, this consistency, just like that. I'm gonna go ahead and serve it with a little bit of parsley on top and give it a taste for you guys. All right, so here is the finished product, our vegan mashed potato oil and fat free. It looks absolutely delicious, super garlicky. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Give us a thumbs up if you liked it. Remember to subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you really soon on the next one. Okay, so I'm gonna give these mash potatoes to taste, let you guys know what I think. Mm. Wow. They're even better with that parsley on top. It gives it like an amazing flavor. Super delicious. That nutritional yeast makes it taste um, almost like it's got cheese or butter in it. It adds a beautiful, beautiful flavor. It's just the right amount. Sometimes if you add too much nutritional yeast, it has an aftertaste, but those four table, uh, those tablespoons, I think I added six tablespoons uh, for 12 potatoes, comes out perfect. Absolutely delicious.